All right, brothers and sisters. Um, I set up this. Uh, I got this set up right here. And what I learned. Okay. Hold on here. Okay, I'm back. What I learned is that. The, excuse me. The material that you use determines the voltage. All right. I. um. I used glass mugs this time because I wanted to see the reading. And I did this purposely. I wanted to see the reading on the glass mugs. Glass is made of sand. We all know that there. But this glass, these this glass has got some other material in it too that gives it that black color, like some dye or something. I don't know. But I used the glass. And this is the reading that I got from the glass. Unlike with this mug, which is ceramic it is ceramic in nature and you got a higher reading from the ceramic you got like eight dc volts from just the ceramic mug alone and we're using the glass and it's science it's part of research and development r d all right now when i touch this right here i touch this right here with my hand see how that goes up. Oh, I can feel the, I can feel the energy from it too. It's a little zzz that I felt in my hand. Now when I take my hand off of it, energy goes down. All right. Energy goes down. When I put my hand back on it, right here. I put my hand back on it, energy goes up. Now inside here I got some quartz. Um I got quartz stone inside of there to try to raise the energy. And I put uh, some selenite wrapped in copper over here all right and i'm still getting like a one one a one volt to a 1.5 volt um i tried hooking it up to the light it didn't go anywhere so what i do need do know is that i need ceramic and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on amazon and order um uh probably a dozen or two dozen ceramic pots with no uh, hole in the bottom all right i'm going to order um about a dozen or two dozen of those so that um i can do this production because seem do this um this uh test because it appears like it basically is, is, is showing me that that glass does not hold the necessary energy all right even though glass is made of sand but ceramic is made of clay and you're talking about two different elements. You're talking about sand versus clay. Clay is like, um, it's metallic in nature is, um, sand is more crystallized. All right. So the, the clay is more metallic. The clay is, has got more, uh, iron deposits in it than, and, and sand doesn't have those iron deposits in it because sand is more. So like we say, crystals, all right. That's why when you make the glass, the glass is clear. Because the sand is nothing but crystals. This is a crystal-based planet. Seriously, it is a crystal-based planet. You see sand everywhere. That's the crystals. All right. Um, so this, I'm going to order these. These were just regular uh, coffee mugs. They have ceramic coffee mugs that I got from uh, Dollar Tree. But I'm going to go on Amazon, like I say, and order the ceramic pots, the miniature ceramic pots without. Um, without a hole in the bottom, all right? So that um, I can conduct this test, but I had fun doing this. So I'm gonna just let this sit for a second and um, I gotta get another, or what I'll probably do is I'll just, when I get the uh, the ceramic uh, mugs or ceramic pots, I'm just gonna take this vinegar that's in here and pour them inside the ceramic pot so I won't have to use vinegar. I will have to buy another thing of vinegar. Cause it's like, yeah, I mean, it's like $3 for a full gallon of uh, vinegar. I don't know where I put it. I put the gallon somewhere. Hold on here. This is uh, the Heinz all natural vinegar, distilled white vinegar. All right. It's got a 5% acidity to it, which is really good. All right. So um, what I'm, like I said, what I want to do is I'm going to order ceramic pots little miniature ceramic pots from Amazon so that I can um, uh, get a better reading 
with a ceramic and I see why our ancestors use ceramic the ceramic and not glass because um, the ceramic like I said has the the proper uh, elements in it to uh, operate on a much higher level all right so ooh, here we are oh sorry about that I gotta work today guys ooh. One day, no more work. But as you can see right now, it's at 1.5 volts. I touch this baby, it goes up a little bit. <laughs> and that's for my body's energy when I'm touching it. But then when I take my hand off of it, it goes back down to 1.5, 1.4, 1.5. It goes back down. So so basically it has a volt, one and a half volts using glass. And I'm and I did this and I, I got the glass on purpose because I wanted to see what um, the reading would be with glass versus the ceramic mugs and the ceramic mugs do carry a high level, higher, higher level of voltage because of the material that the, the mug is made of, the ceramic mug is made of. So. I'm, I'm being your online scientist for you guys. We'll see, as I see, as you can see there, 1.5 volts. When I uh, touch this baby, and this is the very end, this is the last probe, all right? This is the last probe. So I touch that, no matter which one I touch. You see, I'm, I'm touching the positive. This is the positive one right here, the silver. I'm touching the positive, and that goes up to the 3.7, 3.8 volts. Take my hand off of it, goes back down. Now I'm touching the negative. Oh, the energy's going up again too. Hold on, let me see where I'm standing. Let me get my standing together here. Okay, 3.6C. Now it's my body energy that's feeding this right here. It's my body energy that's feeding it, and I'm and I'm touching the last probe, the very last probe. All right, so I take my hand away from it. It goes back down to the original reading all right so we're gonna have to use um yeah ceramic mugs and we and like I said this is that's a coffee cup it's ceramic but I need an actual ceramic mug I need a I mean an actual ceramic pot so yes I'm going to order ceramic pots I was going through Home Depot and Lowe's and Menards and all the ceramic pots I found had holes in the bottom of it and I was like I don't want to have to fill the holes up and wait for the shit to dry. I need to get some ceramic pots that don't have holes in the bottom of it. So I'm going to have to order that, uh, like I said, through Amazon. They get a lot. They get a shitload of money from us, but that's all right. It's all about us. It's research and development, brothers and sisters. That's what it's all about, research and development. And we have got to do this. We have got to, you know, let me see here. Hold on. Okay, I thought if I moved the wires around because I saw the wires kind of touching each other, but it doesn't change. It is, I untangled the wires a little bit and the wires didn't make a difference. It is the material that we're using, which is glass. And glass does not hold the energy necessary to produce the energy for that, that ceramic pot's hole. All right, so um, coffee mugs. Are ceramic, get them at Dollar Tree, dollar twenty-five each. There, actually, they should call it the dollar twenty-five store now instead of the dollar store. <laughs> but you get these um a dollar twenty-five each. At the time I bought these, they were a dollar, and that's how long I had them before I finally used them. But you get a higher reading from the ceramic mug than what you get from the glass. Um, from from using these uh, glass mugs or. Oh, the glass, you know, using the glass wine cups or however you want to call them. All right. So just want to share it with you guys. This is different material. Um, same. Um, the same substance inside of them, which is the vinegar. All right. And it's like we say, it's got the five percent acidity to it. And you've got the acid that's necessary, but what we don't have is the material that's going to produce the energy. So our ancestors knew to use 
ceramic, all right, to make everything move the way it's supposed to move. And I'm not even, even going to go through the whole other thing with the copper sulfate, the salt water and all that. I'm not going through all that because I now I know when I'm using this vinegar that the glass, the glasses don't hold the elemental energy necessary to create the higher energy. So when we talk about science and chemistry, we're talking about um, we uh, tapping into different elements and each element has got a different level of energy. All right. That ceramic mug has that energy. All right. It's molded. It's clay. It's, 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 it's clay and clay is an, is a, is an organic iron substance and it has a certain level of energy about it. And when it's heated up and, um, and put into a kiln and heated up, it actually causes that energy to become greater. All right. That's why they drink coffee from a mug because it's like the elements, the energy that's coming is it's more so the energy that's coming from the coffee mug. Um, that's, that's helping them to be energized. If you look, if you look and you see someone drinking coffee from a paper cup, they don't get the, the same energy that others get from drinking from a coffee mug or either. Sometimes you can get, um, uh, iron, uh, metal mugs. I'm going to get some copper mugs. Who is going to be kind of costly? It is going to be costly, but I'm going to get some copper mugs and I'm going to get some silver mugs and I'm going to do the same test with these as well. All right. And see where we can, uh, go on this right here. All right. And, you know, research and development. So you guys come on, let's, let's get some stuff together. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to start a, forum called research and development and i need you guys to input things that you have tried so that you can share with other brothers and sisters on things that you have tried we don't need to say i got a question i had a dream about this and i had a dream about no we don't want if anybody talking about dreams anybody talking about religions anything i'm erasing it from the research and development it's gonna i'm gonna name it research and development and i need you all to Put in here what you um what you got from the research and development. All right, this is moving your minds. All right, so we're doing we're dealing with uh vinegar. All right, and we, we what we realize is that vinegar and copper sulfate produces the highest level of energies. All right. That's what we, the white vinegar and the copper sulfate produces the highest level of energies. All right. So the apple cider vinegar is made from apples. All right. When you talk about apple cider vinegar, it's, it's like vinegar and apples mixed together. And the apple, the apple uh, that's been fermented, fermented apples. All right. So um, this is the reading that we got. Like I said, I want to keep this here until I get the um, the mugs. And then we're going to, um, from the mugs, we're just going to pull that vinegar into the mugs. And we're going to see what the reading is going to be. Um, and, and from their point on, I'm going to be working on getting some metal mugs. And we're going to put the vinegar inside the metal mugs. We want to put the copper sulfate inside the metal, metal mugs, the pure metal mugs. And we're going to see what, what reading we get from the metal mugs as well. But I used the glass on purpose. I did this on purpose to see what my what the reading was going to be because I wanted to try, try something different. And I got the different reading from there. I just I just picked up the, uh, the glass yesterday. So this is um, um, the class that we're doing today. Um, you can order these through Amazon right here. These are your alligator clips. So you can order through Amazon. As you can see, I got I got everything all aligned in a certain way. I got the, the the green on the copper, and I got the yellow on the silver. I ran out of green and yellow. Um, I should have got five packs, but that's all right, because I ended up using the black, which represents the negative on the copper, and the white, which represents the positive on the, the silver, okay? So it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of... The coloration to, to so that you know what 
is being connected. One represents the negative, one represents the positive. Okay, so um, this is it for right now. Like you see, the reading is still the same. I touch this baby right here. You get a higher reading. You can feel, I can feel a little tinge when I touch it as well. It's like a little tinge. You can feel the energy. It's a very slight energy. And I touch the, when I touch the positive one, the energy goes even higher. I take my hand off, go to the lower one. You know, energy is a whole lot lower when I touch the, um, the copper. But when I touch the silver, energy goes up some. So it's like, it's reading the energies from your body, your positive energy, your negative energy is feeding that system to see when I take my hand off and move it away, it goes back to this original setting 1.5. All right. But when I touch this right here, it goes up to 3.7, 3.2, 3.3. All right. Here, 2.8 to 3.2, somewhere around there. Okay. So, um, research and development, guys. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to start a forum. It's going to be a, it's going to be on there called Research and Development on the in the YouTube community channel under Remedy H, and you guys, um, you guys, uh, putting your input from the things that you have um, have done. All right, putting your input. All right, I'm in this video. I'm going to post do the research and development after this video has been published, so you guys will know when that research and development comes up. Nothing about I dreamed about this. What is this here? Or uh, the Bible says this here or that there. We don't want none of that. We want nothing but your scientific experiments, which means it's going to motivate you to want to do some scientific experiments so that you can put it on the page. There you go. It's called motivation. All right. Motivating you all to become great again. All right. I catch you guys later. All right, you know the deal. All power to the motor chakra, celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever, ever, ever. Remember, chaos brings change, not peace. Chaos is research and development as well. Much power to you all.